Welcome back to Kruzik Sanctuary, Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker, and the Magic DPS Roll Quest. Kruznik X here, along with Arya Stormborn. Hello. Last episode, we discovered... Well, we found out about the blasphemy plaguing Ishgard. And unfortunately, it seems that this one is targeting members of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church. Which you'll remember, if you'll rem recall, was kind of disenfranchised. Church. Yeah. That's what happens when you let religion govern everything. But anyway, so this episode will be running as Summoner. So let's get right down to it with the level 86 quest. No forgiveness, no deliverance. Ah, Chris, your timing could not be better. Deacon Clem has finished speaking with the rescued clergyman and will be here shortly to share his findings. Lord Emmerich, too, is on his way. Let us wait for them. Digan Clem, we thank you for making the inquiries on our behalf. Twas no imposition in the least. As said, I am glad to do all I can. So, tis our understanding that those we escorted back were all close acquaintances of the Inquisitor who turned. Like, th like him, they too had been the subject of harassment by certain quarters of the populace. Is this correct? It is, I'm afraid. And they are far from alone. Men of the cloth were once afforded respect and deference as servants of Halone, but now they are openly reviled by many. We were complicit in perpetuating terrible lies, this is true, but we too were misled. We too are victims, yet we are regarded by some as criminals. Well do I understand the people's anger, but it saddens me to think that they would l thus lash out at their fellow man, especially when we need solidarity most of all. Though I can imagine your plight, I would not presume to fully grasp your pain. Will you tell us of the challenges you and yours have had to face since the war's end? Like all sons and daughters of Ishgard, we dreamed of peace in our lifetime. But now that it has come, we find we have little cause to rejoice. Our faith has long been the foundation of our lives, and overnight that foundation has been crippled by fractures, beyond repair for some. To learn that we had been deceived, and that we had unwittingly deceived others in turn was... Devastating. We who had once been shepherds to men found ourselves lost lambs, bereft of surety and wanting for guidance. We have languished in darkness, all of us. Yet I have faith that the church will redeem itself, that it will find a new path and again become a beacon of hope for the people. I see. Thank you for sharing this with us. Your testimony has confirmed our suspicions. According to our allies, that which causes people to turn is none other than their despair and anguish. If it wasn't before, tis now abundantly clear why members of the clergy are among the transformed. That you did not, I believe, is due to your unwavering faith in the church. In light of this, we would ask for your continued cooperation. Of course, anything to help my brethren. 
Now that we have established the cause, that leaves us with the mystery of profane Fafnir's identity. The progenitor of these troubles. Could he too have been a man of the could he too have been a man of the cloth? From what I recall of his garb, I doubt it. He was dressed in the common fashion, and inadequately against the cold besides. Tis said that something of the individual may remain in the blasphemy, influencing its behavior. If we can determine what instincts drive profane Fafnir, we may learn who it once was. And this knowledge, I believe, will prove vital in our efforts to stop it. Deacon Clem, we ask that you reach out to your fellow clergymen. Please do what you can to ease their anxieties. Understood. As I have ever done, I shall provide what comfort I can to those in need. Meanwhile, we must make it a priority to identify the blasphemy. To that end, I would seek out more eyewitnesses. The Hoplon is a busy place at any given time. Some ordinary citizens are bound to have been present as that tragic event unfolded. I propose we make inquiries at the Pillars. If you could attend to the Hoplon, Lord Otwell and I will look in the surrounding areas. Okay. All right. We'll start at the last vigil. Oh, look at that. No, I didn't see that dragon. Nor would I have wished to, frightful as it sounds. They say it wasn't a Dravanian attack, but if not, then what was it? Alright. Let's go to the Supreme Sacred Tribunal of Hellenic Inquisitory Doctrine. I wasn't present for the incident at the Hoplon. But the young man poorly dressed for the code, that I did see. I recall him well because an aide from St. Vandro was searching for him. He was a patient at the infirmary and by coincidence had the same name. So his name was Vandro. Interesting. The dragon that appeared at the Hoplon? Aye, I saw it with my own eyes. One moment in Elizin, the next a terrible beast. He was a heretic, I take it. <laughs> Those who cling to the past, am I right? Right. All this running, why can't we just ride a frickin' bike in Ishgard in any town to be exact? Oh, hey, I'll be back for you some soon enough. Anyway, talk to Emmerich. There you are, Chris. Did your search finally... Did your search yield any fruit? Someone, a couple of people who saw. A patient of the firmament's infirmary, you say? Among those with whom I spoke, one claims to have witnessed an individual fitting that description. A man walking in a stupor who did not seem to feel the cold. If he had wandered straight out of the infirmary, it would explain his state of attire. 
Yes, I dare say we have found our blasphemy. But to think that his name should be Vandro. Tis the same as that of former Heaven's Ward commander Sir Vandro de Rocamond, for whom the infirmary is named. Sir Vandro, however, retired from his station at a ripe old age some years ago. Tis not like to have been him. In any case, we have a lead. I shall head to the infirmary at once. Pray, wait for me in the broom. Yeah, you go that way. I'm gonna just take an etherite. All right. And now we play the waiting game. This is Loverick, the aide who was in charge of Vandero. Have you found them? Oh, please say you have! We have not, I am afraid. But we seek to. And hope that you could tell us more about him. May we ask how he came to be at the infirmary? He was found by a patrol in the Central Highlands. After being treated for his hurts, he was brought to us for convalescence. Being in the prime of his years, he had been doing well, but then... Prime of his years? By all accounts, he is no old man. It seems safe to assume it is in Sir Vandro. Oh no, he's definitely a different person, as I told Lord Ottoel. And though he gave his name as Vandro, he seemed rather confused and we had no means to confirm his identity. In his state, he shouldn't be wandering about on his own. Please, you must find him. The man who recently turned into the beast at the Hoplin. We regret to say it may have been Vandero. What? No. How can this be? Is there aught else you can tell us? Things he may have said or done while in your care. Hmm. While he was still unconscious, he would often ramble. Though most of it was incoherent, he mentioned the Archbishop many times. Oh, and he spoke of a bishop too. Bishop Vautenoir. I assumed he was a pious man given this. I see. Thank you for your cooperation. We will continue our investigation, and should we confirm what became of Vandero, inform you forthwith. Let us return to the congregation for now. Well, this is the fine kettle of fish. Oh, uh, where am I going? Oh, yeah, Forgotten Night. All right, going up. Atorel. The mystery remains, but we are one step closer to identifying the man who became profane Fafnir. 
Yep. Indeed. Though he did not at first appear to be a member of the clergy, his words betray a fervent faith. And how curious that he should speak not only of the Archbishop, but Bishop Vartenwart specifically. Perhaps he was personally acquainted with his grace. In light of the possibility, I believe we should speak with him directly. Agreed. I will request an audience, but his grace has many demands upon his time. It may be a while before we are seen. Should you have other business, pray feel free to attend to them in the meantime. Okay, works for me. We will be back with this, and next time we will be doing the level 87 quest. Only justice, only vengeance. As a red mage, no less. But that's it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, stay tuned. If you're watching on YouTube, like this video and leave a comment if you feel like it.